the first year of GST rollout for the SME sector indeed were disruptive, but the SME sector hopes the sector which contributes close to 11% to GDP and contributes 45% of the overall manufacturing in the country, the second year will indeed be a year of consolidation. But small players say it would be at least a couple of years before they actually start feeling and in incurring all the benefits of GST rollout. But they say a couple of issues which needs to be addressed on a priority basis by the GST Council. One is of course the abolition of the highest tax lab of 28% and secondly they say the whole process of filing the ITR or the returns form should be simplified and perhaps the best option for a small entrepreneur in the SME sector would be if it could be made only on a quarterly basis and not on a monthly basis. So clearly they hope that government immediately pay heeds to the demands of SME sector which at the end of the day generates the maximum million number of jobs in the country. All official transactions, everybody is paying uh, GST, everybody is doing proper compliances. Now the point is there are few issues and hurdles are there, uh, particularly for the compliances matter, particularly for the formalities, filing a returns and most important SMEs are facing big problem to get trade receivables on time because we have to submit our uh, return on every month and SMEs are not getting their uh, taxes or the uh, trade receivable uh, 30 days time or 45 days or 90 days time. So that is a main issue now coming up for the uh, SME sector. To increase the time limit for SME sector, particularly those are having turnover up to 25 crore, they can give quarterly uh, facility for a return submission. And of course, a lot of SMEs are not getting their trade receivable the banks are come ahead to f fund them, but we are not looking for funding because we have to ultimately uh, lose our uh, money for interest. So the point is compliance part. Second, to re reduction of the you know some uh, 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 compliance system, and most important to increase the time limit for uh, submission of the returns every month. If you have to rate the GST, the first year of GST in India, particularly from the SME sector perspective perspective out of 10 how much would you like to give see i can give 7 percent uh, 7 points uh, to this gst because government has introduced very well this gst and most importantly the india's bribe, uh, the corruption has come down because earlier days there are so many taxation octra vat sales tax and a lot of things were there so nowadays only one tax is there and we we don't want to face any inspector the inspector raj is over and now the you know the days are good for uh, doing business properly and most importantly the ease of doing business is a uh, the you know initiative by government of india to give the compliance system a positive system for indian industries particularly sme sector